So as, as developers of new hop varieties uh, at Indie Hops, um, there are a number of things we're thinking about. And there is a very long-term component to it uh, where in any agricultural crop, you're having to stay ahead of pests, diseases. Uh, and more recently, we've had issues of climate change uh, thrown at agriculture as well, be it uh, varying temperatures, at different times of the year, um, different levels of rainfall um, at different times of the year, sometimes too much, sometimes too little. Hop breeding is one of the best ways to deal with that, to, to find genotypes that not only brew well um, for, for the brewing of beer, but stand up better to less access to water, um, to maybe warmer winters where the, the, the winter chill, the overwintering uh, element isn't isn't there as easily for some varieties. Um, some deal with that better than others. So that's that's one thing we're looking at is is uh, is having a stable uh, set of of hop varieties to grow. For me, the benefits of growing winter barley is, is, in my mind, is sort of a bridge of climate change, going from uh, not understanding what that means to understanding that we need to be thinking about the future and what our weather and what our temperatures and what the, the, the amount of water that we have to do any supplemental irrigation is going to be. We were certainly looking at it from the research side and for all of agriculture, looking to see with crops about drought tolerance. What did we have that we were growing? What did we need to be able to maybe make changes to be able to prepare for what was coming? And then all of a sudden, it was not coming any longer. It was here. <laughs> 